Hi, my name is Haley Morris Cafiero. I'm a photographer based in Belfast and I lecture in photography at Ulster University. Holy Pulpit uh, was inspired by uh, the when Weight Watchers went viral in 2013. I started getting thousands of comments and emails from people telling me how ugly I am and how fat I am and what a waste I am. And I knew uh, that I wanted to respond to them because I just laughed whenever I received the messages. And so I started saving them. And uh, so I realized that an image cannot be removed from the internet. And if I responded to them in text, they would delete what I said or manipulate it. But uh, with you know uh, responding photographically, they could not delete it. So I found um, public profiles of 25 of the people who bullied me. I start by looking at the comments and then I see look for any that had I could find uh, public profiles of the people. And so some people um, emailed me um, directly and some people I found through Facebook. Like this guy emailed me from his uh, email with his name, phone number, address, everything was in the email so I could find him pretty easily. Um, others tried to hide their profile with um, cartoon photos. And so I Googled him and found out that he was arrested. So I got his mugshot and that's what I used. And so after I have all the images, I uh, look to see if they were wearing anything specific, uh, like this guy with his specific t-shirt. And if so, I find those. And others where they're not wearing something iconic or something plain, I look to see where I can include the text either in what they're wearing or in the location. And if it's in what they're wearing, then I design and produce the clothes, um, have them printed. And otherwise, I look for locations and then um, gather props. And I specifically use uh, inexpensive wigs and prosthetics to kind of allude to the false sense of security that the internet gives people, and also insert that humor to kind of uh, soften the blow of this kind of hard subject. From the beginning and ever since, including last week, um, every time I get a hateful message, it just makes me laugh. I think the um, idea that someone is wasting like calories and electricity to try to send me messages to either help me or stop me is ridiculous. And it just, um, I've never been hurt by any of these comments. Um, if anything, it just fuels me and it just cracks me up. Like when I read them, there's like a, one of the blogs is dedicated to how fat and ugly I am, and there's a four chain, and it's just, it's ridiculous. So the new book, uh, The Bully Pulpit, is published by uh, Fall Line Press uh, in collaboration with Trolley Books. And what I hope to uh, do with this book is present all 25 images from The Bully Pulpit in a format that is large enough so you could see all the details of the photographs. Um, so it's vertical and then with the horizontal images, uh, it's horizontal. Um, it's uh, very much about seeing every detail, every bad uh, makeup application and that's what I wanted out of the book, which is great. It also has a wonderful essay by Emma Lewis, assistant curator at the Tate Modern, about uh, visibility, which has been really um, helping uh, impactful and uh, kind of contextualizing my work in a different uh, conversation, which is great. Um, so yeah, um, you can pick it up at Belfast Exposed or um, uh, Trolley Books distributing in London um, or on my website. Well, I hope when people look at the photographs that whether they are um, people who have either um, bullied somebody else or had thoughts to bully someone else, I hope that they see the pictures and change that the way that they're thinking and see how it could hurt others and really how ridiculous that they look and that 
you know, when we were little, sticks and stones could break my bones, but on the internet, these uh, messages never go away. And so I hope they stop. And then and for someone who is a victim of bullying, I hope they see that there's another like way of responding to bullies and that they don't always get away with it.